right, our next speaker is going to be Becca Rahm, field director from American Majority. I am so excited to be here with you to say that we the people have had enough. should have been. Are you right there with me? Yeah. yeah? You think yours are too high too? Yeah. All right. Well, I want to tell you a story today. I want to tell you about the place that I work for. It's called American Majority. And some of you have a flyer in your hand, and I want to tell you why that is. We're here today because we think that individual freedom is better than any government program out there, right? Yeah. And you and I think that we can spend our hard-earned money a lot better than the government, right? Majority about a year ago, the president of American Majority shared a vision with me. And I want to share that with you today because I think it's relevant to what we're doing here. He shared a vision with me of engaging individuals in their communities and in the electoral process. And you want to know why that appealed to me? Because I'm getting married in 10 days and I want our jobs to be secure so that my new husband and I can build a solid foundation for the rest of our lives. And I want to know that when we're ready to buy a house in a few years, that there's going to be a loan available so we can make that next step. And in a few more years, when we're ready to have children and we want to start a family, I want the streets they walk on to be safe. I want the schools they go to to be solid. And I want them to live in a nation that's free. These dreams, these dreams and these hopes for my life are shared by you. And I know that. You want that for your children. You want that for your grandchildren. And we don't see that in what we're looking at with the direction of our country today. So American Majority is a nonpartisan, nonprofit organization. And what I want to tell you about with it is that today is April 15th. And here we all are. We come out, we protest, and then what? Do we go home? Do we just stop? Is that the extent of our involvement? I hope it's not, because what we do at American Majority is we train people to be involved in their communities. Maybe you want to be trained to run for office, to write a letter to the editor, to volunteer in an organization or in a campaign. Maybe you want to learn how to hold your elected officials accountable. We'll teach you how. All you have to do, go to www.afterthetearparty.com. It's on the little card if you have that. All you have to do is give me your name and your phone number. I'll call you up personally and say, how can I help you? Because here's the point. You and I came out today because we believe in two things. We believe in individual freedom, and we believe in personal liberty. And we don't want that fight to stop today. We want to keep working for those freedoms tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the day after that. Am I right? All right. I'm so glad you're all here today. You know, today is tax day. But it's a good day, because I got to spend it here with you. Thank you. All right, next we have uh, representing Congressman Todd Tiart, Randy O'Boyle. Well, uh, Todd Tiart's just a friend of mine. He was here last night and had dinner with some of us, and he uh, had a message that he wanted me to relay to everybody uh, about some of the things that they're facing in Washington and, and, uh, and, uh, and something that they're working on. Uh, you know, it, it was said that uh, government really doesn't create anything. Uh, whenever somebody says, well, the government's going to do this for you, it's coming out of somebody else's wallet, and that's normally you and I. And I think that's why a lot of us are here today is because we're not exactly certain that we like the you know, where the stuff out of our wallet's really going. And um, so anyway, let me just read this real quick for you. Uh, for Todd, he's at four different tea parties, and his wife's at some tea parties. And uh, he told us, he said, you know, this thing is something that started on the Internet. It wasn't organized by anybody. It wasn't a political a party or a political group that organized. It was just individuals. And it's really caught on, and, and who knows where it will go. But uh, here's what he had to say. He says, I'm outraged, outraged that our government 
has lost touch with reality when it comes to taxing and spending and piling on more and more debt. Your Tea Party protest today is part of a large movement that is happening all across the country, and I stand with you 100%. It's time we do something about this out of control tax and spend mentality that has infected our federal government and is destroying our future. These difficult times require citizens like you to stand up, let your voice be heard across Kansas, all the way to our nation's capital. You are here today because you care deeply about our great country and you want a better future for our children and grandchildren. If you are like me, you want this madness to stop and for a change to come to our country and, and in Washington. Not the kind of change we heard about recently that is wrecking our country, but the kind of change that brings common sense values to Washington and allows individuals to pursue their dreams. That's why I have brought together a group of ideas and legislation called Renew the Dream. We all have a dream, our own American dream, but without opportunity, dreams will never become a reality. The first step to renew the dream starts with no more bailouts. I introduced a no more bailouts resolution in Congress calling for an end to the wasteful spending on failing corporations. We will never be able to bail ourselves out of this mess by spending more taxpayer money and buying more bad debt. The next step to renew the dream needs to come from a meaningful tax reform so that we can keep more of our hard-earned money. We can't grow our economy with the government taking away money that should be circulating in our local economy. And we certainly can't levy a 90% tax on individuals like Congress recently voted to do. The fair tax is a system of taxation that would keep members of Congress from using the tax system as a weapon. and would stimulate economic growth and make American workers more productive and competitive. I supported the fair tax before it's politically popular and continue to advocate for it today. I imagine that you pay your taxes on time, make your mortgage payments, and you still find out that it's hard to make ends meet. Not because of how you live your life, but because of the burden government is placing on you and your family and small businesses. Until Washington leaders understand the successful economies start from the ground up, not from the government down, we will continue to see a bigger federal government getting more involved in our daily lives. I'm fed up with Washington trying to pick winners and losers in our economy. And I'm proud that Kansans like you are standing up for what is happening in our country. Keep the fight here in Kansas until Washington gets the message. Carry this message to your friends and neighbors, and let's keep this movement growing until our government changes the course and does the right thing for our country. Thank you, and God bless. Congressman Todd T. So he told us last night, he said, you know, when you call your elected officials, it really makes a difference. He says, because when I get one phone call, I know there's at least a thousand people, two thousand, three thousand, that, that feel exactly the same way that person did, but just can't get to the phone, get, can't get the phone number, it's got things going on and isn't there. He said, so every time you call, it makes a difference. Every time you write, it makes a difference. He said, call the White House switchboard, go on the website. He said, let people know how you feel. Thank you.